you can already tell by the title and what I'm in right now, I'm doing a little bit of drawing for you guys today. So I'm going to be showing you how I can build a galaxy. So I just grab one of my tools right quick with a fill, adjust it how I want it, um, and then see how well it works from there. I mean, it, it, should, it works pretty good. Um, so I'm hoping that it'll end up with this working out just how I want it. All right, now I can choose the colors. I want that to stay black. This one, let's make like a dark blue, maybe a purplish. And then this one right here, let's make it be more of a pinkish. Not that pink of a pink, but right there. And then this very last one, pretty bright. Like that. Alright. And now we go over here to our tools, and I select my airbrush, the flow airbrush. I select this white and just kind of. Oh, I need to put the size all the way up, and the opacity down to about 15, and just swipe across this several times. Uh, let me grab a little bit of a more of a purplish color again, and bring it out some more this way. There we go. And just to add a little bit of character to it, let's go to our library to find a tool we need. Get the glow, and choose like a yellowish, a bright yellow color. About like that. The size pretty far down, but the flow all the way up. And let's just start tapping it everywhere. Hold on, let me take all this back real quick. I'll make another layer for them. That way they will shine crazy bright for the stars. Add a layer. There we go. See, it adds a brightness to it. Makes it shine more. And get a little bit of a bigger one for you here and there. Just change the size throughout. There we go. And if we really wanted to add another layer, go back over here again to our airbrush. Grab about like a, a the blue right here, and then just go over it like so. Make it kind of pop out a little bit here and there. And then if you want to get even more detail, you can grab a smudge brush, a brush uh, flow down to about 37 size all the way up, and just kind of smudge it here and there. Let's get one of our charcoal uh, blends with a bluish color still. Size all the way up, a little bit 24. It adds like a bluish effect to it. It's a little bit too much there. But what it does is it makes it look like it's got particles and stuff in it. Now let's go grab a purple again. And just a little bit more of a charcoal effect. And then black to just to go over some of the end of it. Alright, so now after we get to that part, you can add whatever image you would like by hitting the little mountain button with a plus on it. Um, it just makes it to where it looks better. You can add a planet, whatever, and then have a highlight around the edge of it. Um, I'm going to go do that right quick. I'm going to go choose out a planet right quick to put in. And then I'll uh, get back to you guys whenever I get to the highlighting. Uh, I chose the Earth because it, it was the best image I could find that would be doable and uh, look pretty good still. So now I'm going to grab my eraser um, and erase this black all the way around it. Now to get really detailed with it.
All right, guys, so we're now at the end of it. Um, let me just finish this a little bit, and then we'll move on to the next part, which will be adding some more of a glow to the Earth from where the light is shining. So the way we will be doing that, I'm going to be heading back to my library of tools, heading to the glow, and grabbing a purplish color to add to the edge. So the flow on this needs to be down to about five, maybe maybe a one I'll put on on one percent for now. Leave the size how it is, and then just go right here along this edge, and really try to brighten it up, and kind of like that. All right, I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit more, make it seem like it's going across the whole thing. There we go. And now for a little bit of shading on the other side. Let me go grab a black. I'm going to use my airbrush. So no more of the globe. Um, and I'm going to put the size down some and the opacity up. And get the back into this earth. And kind of darken up the space along behind it. Make, make it seem like it's casting a shadow. I think it's turning out pretty good so far. Um... And I might add on to this by putting some more little details here and there later on. Um, but that's how I wanted to start off this series of the drawing series. I guess you could call it uh, photoshopping if you want to. Um, but I'm going to add one last thing. And then I'm probably going to uh, close it off. And if you guys haven't already, give me some ideas down below in the comments of what my next build should be on. Um, it really helps the channel out, and I'm going to try and be creative with this and see what you guys think about it, and maybe your opinions and what I should add. So uh, please let me know down in the comments what I should add, and uh, while you're down there, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot, and it means a lot to me. Um, and so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.